This video's new ingredient is uh, fennel. The smell of licorice coming off of this is insanely strong. I, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> okay, I know normally I'm more on camera. Uh, I am not feeling it today. I had my booster yesterday and it's just, anyway. So I decided to do what was supposed to be a fennel and chickpea stew. Um, not a fennel and chickpea stew. I uh, don't have any more chickpeas. So uh, we are doing fennel, onion, tomato, chicken. There is olives. There are olives. <laughs> These are the seasonings that I'm using along with some cayenne, some salt, and some black pepper. Um, I used some olives out of this and then just some, um, some other black olives that I have. So we're going to saute the uh, onion and fennel after I slice it up real thin. And that's going to take a while. And then we're going to add the chicken and the tomatoes. Let that cook together for a while. And then add the olives and let that cook for a while. Okay. There's no reason why the chicken can't hang out in that seasoning mix while I slice up the onion and the fennel. Yeah? Yeah. The recipe just says to slice the onion thin as well as the fennel. I think I chose fennel because it looks so funky and wild. <laughs> I've used fennel seeds before. Uh, I, I like them. I know the bulb is going to taste totally different. I know the fronds are supposed to be usable and taste totally different. So that's a, um, that's a big plus in any vegetable you get, especially if it's big like that. Okay, I don't feel like I should keep these in full rings. I think I should slice those down more. Head and mince the garlic. I have a garlic press for it. Yay! Just doesn't seem like very much garlic, does it? I'm kind of holding off doing the fennel because <laughs> when I cut the fronds off, like the smell of licorice was so powerful. And I know that some of these olives have pits and I don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, de-pit and slice some of these up, okay? Um, yeah, screw these green olives. That was way too much work <laughs> to get that pit out. And there's not a whole lot of meat around there. Um, what I looked at said that coring this was optional in this recipe. I did see the other sites say to core it. I wonder if that, that's probably not thin enough. I definitely want to get this as thin as I can. I have a, like a little slicer, like a, like a little mandolin, but I think that this is too wide. There are some spots that I trimmed off of this one that didn't look too happy. That's a lot of fennel, and I am just going to kind of go at it. I don't exactly know what to expect <laughs> at all. Not taste-wise, not not anything. I'm hoping the chicken works in this. I'm sure it will, but um, the chickpeas, I can see where the, uh, the chickpeas themselves would even out uh, some stronger flavors. I uh, don't know if uh, chicken has it, has the equal amount of uh, offsetting power, so. We'll see if this is a big, huge mistake, which I don't, I mean, surely it can't be. I mean, it's vegetables and meat. I mean, at the absolute worst, it's going to be okay. Okay, I'm heating up the oil, and while that's going on, I chopped up a couple of extra tomatoes to go with the diced tomatoes. I did add some cumin to the seasoning mix, and I uh, put some on the chicken. I could not, in good conscience, let all those other seasonings sit there without a bit of cumin. It's in, it's crowded, and I'm all about it. When it first hit the pan, like there wasn't an overwhelming smell of, uh, of licorice or anything. It's like the smell has kind of um, dissipated the strength of it. Okay, we are about 10 minutes in and this smells so good. Not no licorice scent at all. Um, just smells really good. 
Okay, smelling this, I have definitely smelled this somewhere before. I have smelled this in some restaurant or in some dish, and it was like a missing type of ingredient, something that I couldn't place. I, I wonder if I have eaten this before in a dish and just thought it was onion. Oh man, this is like, this is actually really awesome because it's a smell I can't describe, but I know I've smelled and I didn't ever think I'd find you, but I found you. You are fennel. Okay, this has a few more minutes. I am getting pretty excited to taste it once it's all done and put together. I really do want to know, have I just smelled this or have I eaten it in a dish before? And I'm pretty sure I'll know. Uh, it'll come right back to me if I have had it in a dish. It smells so good. Okay, so after this um, cooks a little bit longer, I am going to go ahead and put the chicken in, half cup of water, the tomatoes, and then we're gonna bring it to a simmer and let that cook for about 15 minutes. Uh, I don't want to overcook the chicken, but I definitely don't want to undercook it. Okay, so we are at 20 minutes on a medium high heat. I think that did well. I think that worked well for me. Okay, so tomatoes are in. Water. Okay, and I need to add some of this seasoning. I'm not sure how much of that seasoning uh, I used. I mean, not the whole thing, but uh, until it looked about right, I think. The chicken is in there and I am really starting to understand parsley as a garnish. This needs green in it so bad. Okay, now that simmers for about 15 minutes and we will see where we are at. Okay, our 20 minutes is up and this smells so freaking good. Okay. The recipe I looked at called for capers. I freaking hate capers as far as I know. The one time I had them, they were freaking gross. Okay, so now this cooks for another 10 minutes. So I'm going to check on the chicken and see if that's good enough. Since you hung out with me, the least I could do is put my face on here to thank you personally uh, for for watching, for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. I'm not feeling the hottest. I am feeling much better. Actually doing the video and cooking and moving around and getting kind of excited about it really did help. It uh, helped my fatigue. My headache is um, kind of waning off a bit. So thank you. I appreciate it. If you have any fennel recipes or any like yeah please let me know comment i'm i'm all about it i'm not you know i'm not just gonna be like i'm never using fennel again i would like to know a better way to use it maybe if it, the taste is a little milder maybe offset by something else it may be the chicken like the chickpeas may have made it work i'm not sure any thoughts on that let me know <laughs> thank you so much and i will see you um tomorrow for the check-in video